When I visited Japan, I went to the biggest art store in Tokyo called Sakaido. It's located in Shinjuku and it's one of the places that I was most excited to visit. And so, in this episode of Sketchbook 100, I'm going to do some drawing and talk about what this place was like. Now there's not really many art stores where I live, and definitely none that are the same as this. Sakaido had six floors, and I had taken a photo of the floor guide when I was there. Fortunately, there were some English translations for us to read what was on each floor. The first floor was for stationery, and here they had every pen that you could imagine. They had a whole section for mechanical pencils and I found a huge range of different Kuru Turgas, which many of you know is my preferred drawing instrument and so I had to take a photo of this. You're probably thinking that I bought loads here, and whilst I was tempted to, I decided that I shouldn't because, well, you can only use one pencil at a time and I'm pretty happy with the one that I draw with now. Eventually, I worked my way up to the second floor, which had many art supplies, including every possible colour of pencil and more. There was also a lot of paper here, along with how to draw books, a lot of them surrounding manga, which is very popular over there. I even found some books that I was familiar with, in Japanese, obviously. been in the store for a while when I went up to the third floor which was where all of the paint supplies were. Here they had a selection of both Japanese and Western painting equipment. <laughs> floor was where they had a vast collection of various frames that you could purchase and there were so many of them in different sizes and styles. The fifth floor also had a lot of frames and showcased many oil paintings and artwork. There was a gallery up here and even a cafe on this floor which we never went to and I don't think we went up to that sixth floor either. Throughout this episode I've been creating this drawing and it's specifically for the subject of this video. I had used a lot of my photos and videos that I had taken as reference and decided to document my experience here in this sketchbook. I think at this point we had been wandering around the store looking at everything for close to an hour and you're probably wondering if I had bought anything whilst I was there. Well, I only bought one thing surprisingly which was this. This is a Mono Zero Eraser, this is the metallic rectangular one and I didn't own one of these at the time. I don't really use that much to create my art and so I had no real reason to buy any supplies. I mainly went here for the experience to see what the largest art store in Tokyo was like and it didn't disappoint.
As you saw yourself, to create this piece, I began by drawing the Monozera eraser that I had purchased, along with the floor guide for the art store as well. Then I started drawing in a background using one of my photographs that I had taken as reference before then drawing the section that is below, which is the exterior entrance to Sakaido itself. I don't have any more b-roll now, so I'll finish off this drawing and we can see how it turns out. So that concludes this episode of Sketchbook 100, page 6 is dedicated to that huge art store, Sakaido, and I might make some more videos about my experience in Japan, so if you found this enjoyable then be sure to give the video a like, and subscribe with the notifications on to not miss the videos that I put out in the future. Also if you'd like to see me colour this artwork then be sure to check out the Patreon page, because I put the colouring footage over on there, along with some exclusive content as well, but with all that being said, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.